Well, Julie, the National Fraternal Order of Police releasing their statistics on December 1st. 350 officers shot nationwide compared to 302 at this time last year. 42 so far killed in the line of duty. And here in Central Virginia, as you said, four officers shot over the course of a month. When people hear, oh, you survived, then everything's okay. No, it's not. Because these officers carry the, those injuries with them the rest of life. They carry the trauma. Their families carry the trauma with them. A scary statistic surfacing in the law enforcement world recently is the number of officers shot at right here in the Commonwealth over the course of a month. A Homeland Security agent shot while serving a search warrant in Dinwiddie County on October 25th. A state trooper shot in Petersburg November 2nd. Virginia State University officer Bruce Foster attacked from behind November 12th. And a Henrico officer on the perimeter of an attempted robbery scene shot through the window of his car on November 30th. Then this, dramatic video of a home blowing up in Arlington Monday night. Police were there serving a search warrant and they say the man inside had been firing a flare gun. Three officers suffered minor injuries. The National Fraternal Order of Police reports a total of eight officers were shot in all of Virginia at this time last year. There have been seven so far this year. One of our concerns is there's a perception that there aren't any consequences when you attack a law enforcement officer. Uh, the other concern we have is there's a growing number of ghost guns in our communities, and those are ones that you can manufacture with a 3D printer, you can order online out of a foreign country, and it's been very difficult to get those kind of guns, you know, out of criminal hands. Dana Shrad, the executive director of the Virginia Association of Chiefs of Police, says not only do the incidents affect morale, but also recruitment and retention, adding that keeping officers on the job is a tough task nowadays. We're trying to keep officers in the profession. We're trying to encourage people to that law enforcement is still a great profession. Um, and what a lot of people don't understand is they see a lot of bad things about police officers on the news, but the statistics show it's less than one half of 1% of police officers who dishonor their badge. Um, the other 99.9% .9 are actually out here doing great work. Virginia State University police officer Bruce Foster was paralyzed after being shot last month. Keith Culver, who you just heard from there, from the Vail Foundation, is part of a mission to bring Christmas to the 39-year-old man and his children. To read about that, go to our website, WTVR.com. Reporting live outside State Police Headquarters in Chesterfield County, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.